Okay guys, so I just finished up at the gym. I am so tired today because it was daylight savings this weekend and the clock went back, no, the clock went forward an hour. So technically we lost an hour of sleep and I think it's still affecting me. Like my body thinks that it's an hour earlier. So I've been falling asleep like an hour later but still waking up at the same time. So I think that's kind of messing with me because I'm like so tired this morning. And even though it's just like one hour, it still like makes a difference, okay? Because I need my beauty sleep and I am, I always say this, like I just feel like I run off of sleep a lot more than the average person which may not be true i could sleep like this weekend i slept 12 hours uninterrupted i didn't pee i didn't wake up knocked out like a solid brick okay that is literally the definition of my life like i just love my sleep and i've been like this ever since i was a baby my mom has always said like you've always slept so long and so good as a baby it just it's just in me like it's just, it's just me and when i don't get enough sleep it literally affects me mentally physically like i just can't function properly and i know some people like for example my dad he can get like five hours of sleep and he's completely functioning and he's fine some people just don't need that much but i need like 12 hours of sleep i feel great and i don't actually get 12 hours of sleep every night that's so excessive but i get at least minimum 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 it's eight and if i can get like nine and a half that's like a sweet spot for me but anyways i'm really really happy i got that workout done with because i was just tired this morning and i didn't feel like doing anything because it's raining especially like what what am i supposed to feel honestly though next i can't complain because next week is supposed to be sunny and 20 degrees like all week which is beautiful next week is my birthday so i don't want to jinx it but there hasn't been a year that it hasn't been sunny on my birthday and it looks like this year is going to be the same which is kind of crazy so that's a sleigh my birthday is on st patrick's day by the way so it's actually this coming sunday oh my gosh guys at the end of the week i'm also getting my hair cut i'm gonna get some little like cut my curtain being shorter and just like get a trim get some more layers added because i haven't gotten a haircut in like three months and if i don't book it like i'm never gonna go so i just have to book it and i'm really excited there's nothing like a fresh haircut anyway so i'm just gonna go in grocery shopping right now i really just feel like soup for dinner i don't know why but i'm gonna buy some ingredients to make some soup that's the vibe for today also recently time has just been going by like extra 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 fast the weeks have been flying by like it's already tuesday i kind of adjusted my schedule a bit so monday i i kind of take the day a little bit slower and i clean i reset and i just do a lot of computer work like mondays i cut out filming because i just feel like i can ease myself into the week way better than that that's why these vlogs are always starting on tuesday now i felt like i just needed one more weekend day not weekend because i still like do work and stuff but more so just a day to not film and to just really reset the house reset my life before i start filming for the week ahead if that makes sense so anyways i can't believe it's already tuesday i'm gonna aim to be in there for like 20 30 minutes top so let's get her done quick when I was shopping at the States uh, just recently, I got one extra Trader Joe's bag. So now I have two of them. These are only like $4, I think. And they're the best reusable bags in the world. Like I will vouch for these. The quality is amazing. And they're so huge. They're not like overly big. They're like the perfect big size. I don't even know how to describe it. These are the best bags ever. I really wanted to get their mini ones because I saw they came out with them. But they didn't have them at the Trader Joe's that we went to, which sucks. But these are like my go-to and I'm so happy I got two now. Bringing these in the summer to like the farmer's markets is going to be so nice. Is the little grocery haul so i just got some bone broth for the soup some ginger ale no not ginger ale these are root beer zps got some organic potatoes some organic salad kits johnsonville sausage for the soup some bacon some avocados some raspberries creamer 
Got some cottage cheese, got some kombucha, some sparkling water, some kale for the soup. This is such like a fresh, nice bunch of kale. I hate when I get it and it's like all droopy, but this one is so fresh and big and nice. And then I just got these four bags of chips. These are made with brown rice and olive oil, so it's so, so good because there's no canola oil. These are kind of like a healthier version of a Dorito, but yeah, I vouch for these. These are so good. about to leave the house to go to the mall with Talia. We're going to a cafe, then to the mall, and then potentially back here. This is my outfit. Got my new Sambas on. Just wanted to be super comfy today. The weather's kind of awkward. It's like hot but cold but sunny but raining. So I have on these sweats. Just wanted to be comfy. And then I have a crew neck that I could put on, but I'm kind of hot right now. So I'm just wearing this long sleeve from Aritzia. This is from Garage Aritzia and Aritzia. And that is a little outfit of the day. Just wanted to show you guys, but just waiting for her to arrive and then we're gonna get going. guys so i am now home from my outing i just had dinner just chillax for a bit and i had to get up my youtube short edit that because i filmed it this morning and also my tiktok so i got my little morning routine up which feels good and i literally finished editing it and then my computer i think i accidentally unplugged it with my foot because i was like playing around like with my feet and then it completely deleted like all of my editing and then i had to re-edit it so that was just a pain in the butt and i was like yeah take a deep breath i'm just gonna it's fine just gonna re-edit it took an extra half an hour but it's fine everything's meant to be anyways so i hung out with talia yesterday as i already said i ended up buying madison's gift because her birthday was actually last week and i haven't gotten her gift yet i just told her her gift is going to be delayed and i ended up just like shopping for her i got her a bunch of stuff from aritzia that they already like prepackaged, and then a bag full of stuff from garage and boathouse it was so fun you guys like when it comes to spending money on myself i'm always so like conservative and i'm like i uh, like do i need it no i'll save it instead and i you know won't spend it on myself like i'm very conservative but when i like i'm shopping for a gift and for somebody i am swiping that credit card i don't i do not give one single shit and i will spend as much like i don't care because Gift giving to me is like the best feeling. Giving a gift to me is so much better and such a more like rewarding feeling than getting a gift. I just thrive off of giving gifts. Like I love seeing people happy after I give them a gift. You know what I mean? Like I just love giving and it's just, even with Christmas, like I'd rather buy someone something and see them open it than me get a gift from them. I don't even think about that, you know? Anyway, so I just had the most fun time shopping for her. I got her butter workout set. I'm not gonna unbox now because it's all like packaged, but um, actually I'll show you couple things because in this bag this one's the one that's open so i just don't want to open the ritzia stuff how freaking cute i'm actually really disappointed i didn't get myself one like what was i thinking but so cute and then i got her also a little summer fridays mint lip balm i just got her a bunch of stuff and it's just so much fun shopping for other people because i don't care how much i spent but like why am i so conservative when it comes to myself i need to treat myself like this sometimes but i feel like as a bigger sister i have like a duty to spoil my younger sister like it's just it's just how it should be you know and the reason why i chose to get her clothes is because she always spends her money on shoes at least she used to and she would never buy clothes and i was always the opposite where i was i would always buy clothes and she would always buy shoes and so like i i have a pretty like good amount of clothes like i'm always kind of buying new clothes and i never really spent my money on shoes so i have like an abundance of clothes and she's like the opposite so i'm like i need to shop for you girl anyways i have a 7 a.m workout class power core class tomorrow at oxygen yoga and fitness so i'm gonna get to bed now it's already nine o'clock since the daylight savings time change happened it's been getting darker so much later and so that is like screwed with me mentally because when it's like eight o'clock i think it's like six o'clock and then i'm just acting like it's six o'clock and then i look at the time and i'm like oh my god you're kidding me so it's already nine o'clock i need to go to bed in like less than half an hour so i'm gonna get myself ready for bed wash my face and everything and i just had leftovers for dinner so nothing really special but anyways i'm gonna go to bed i love you guys so much and i'll see you tomorrow
got myself ready for the day and i've just been editing i'm hoping to finish last week's vlog today so that i can upload it either tonight or tomorrow but probably not going to get uploaded till tomorrow realistically once i finish the thumbnail and everything i wanted to get it done by today but i just don't think that's going to happen and i hate rushing videos there's like a lot that actually goes into uploading a youtube video it's not like oh slap something together upload it and it's done you have to create the title you have to create the thumbnail you have to upload it make sure there's no copyright strikes you have to export it make sure it's all good you have to do the end screen like to do the links like there's a lot that goes into it more than you think anyways so that's the vibe right now i completely forgot to vlog my breakfast but i had like a yam egg bowl this morning it was so good but you guys have seen it before just my regular um i just got a package in from amazon and i got some shoe spray because as you guys know i'm in my shoe era and i have just been wanting to purchase more shoes recently since like that's something i've never really thought about and put money into i've always just bought clothes for myself so anyways been in my shoe era so i bought this spray off amazon it was really like 13 dollars and it's called mb protex water stain and protector so i'm gonna spray all my new shoes with this i only have two new pairs of shoes right now but like i am planning on ordering more so this is gonna be nice to have around because i am somebody that is so clumsy i'm so messy when it comes to eating when it comes to taking care of my clothes i always spill and so i already know that's a recipe for a disaster when it comes to my shoes because i'm just gonna get them so dirty so at least having this protector spray is gonna make me feel a little bit better that's the tea i will link this down below because it was so super cheap and had really good reviews i was just like planning out my content and i'm gonna be filming a spring reset pretty soon so i'm really excited i think i'm gonna do two separate videos i'm gonna do a spring cleaning video and then a whole spring reset video just because i need to do some organization in my house especially in like my garage i want to deep clean everything and i feel like it's just gonna feel so good but i'm excited to do that i'm actually probably gonna do that next week so yeah but anyways i'm gonna go upstairs right now i'm gonna do some laundry because i want to get that done and then i'm probably just gonna spray my shoes outside right now real quick and then just hopefully finish editing the video and i need to film a night routine tonight because that has been so highly requested so i'm gonna film that tonight and then probably get it up before you even see this video so it'll already be up so go check that out that is the tea nothing crazy going on let me know comment down below if you guys like seeing home vlogs better or do you like when i take the camera out or do you like a mix of both because like i don't know why personally i just love seeing people in their house like i love a good home vlog sometimes when they go out and do too many things i don't like it like i don't know why maybe because i'm a homebody at my core but let me know like what kind of content you guys like to watch from me specifically if you like when i'm vlogging in the house if you like a mix of both or if you just like really vibe with the home content mm. we put up some new frames let me show you guys so we just hung this frame i showed you guys in my last vlog um i got it from ross in the states when we went across the border but how cute i just think it really adds to the, our little living room here and i think that it just looks so cute this wall was really blind before and i just needed something it looks kind of small on camera but i promise it looks really good and it like fits the space in person definitely could be a little bit bigger but i really like the little dainty sides of it i think it looks really really cute up close of it i think it's adorable and i love like this type of style of painting it's like a vintage-esque flowery painting i just love this style so much and the frame is super super cute and i just think it really completes this room because i've been wanting to put something on this wall for so 
long now so it's just perfect i think these were the shoes that i was talking about that i showed you guys in my last vlog that i'm going to spray right now with this little spray i'm gonna just put them on the deck and just spray them quickly and then i think it needs two coats so we'll do the first one right now and then finish them off later <laughs> just sprayed my shoes and i hope it works i mean i can't really tell it doesn't look like there's a coating on them which is a good thing but they should be water repellent etc which most of the fabric already is because they're like leathery on this part but this is kind of like fabric so i extra sprayed that but hopefully i can keep these clean so pray for me but i'm so excited to start my shoe collection you guys i'm gonna be buying a new pair like every month because i'm obsessed but anyways successful spray they're all done i just transferred my laundry i'm just currently still editing and just for reference how long these videos take me to edit i want to show you guys this so this is my whole timeline okay and this video is 41 minutes and 50 seconds i already rough cut everything and that took me a few hours in itself just to rough cut and now i'm going and adding all the text all the music and everything making sure everything is good i still need to add the intro still need to add the outro anyways as you can see the overlays i only have edited until there and i still got this whole video to go this section already took me two and a half hours to edit imagine how long it's going to take me to edit the rest of this like editing is no joke it is very very time consuming i am going to be filling a night routine tonight so i'm going to end this portion of the vlog off here and i won't see you guys till tomorrow but if you want to see how my night goes and what i do for my night routine then definitely watch that video because it's already up if you haven't already so go check that out to add a little bit of oomph to this vlog or you can watch it after you can pause this watch it or watch it after but um yeah so if you want to continue the night with me go watch that most of my night is just going to be cooking dinner editing this vlog etc so yeah i feel like i have not done an actual night routine in so long so i'm excited to film this and show you guys what i do it's very very chill though it's very realistic like i'm not adding anything that i don't do that i'm gonna fake you know what i mean i've been really trying to keep on top of my editing because i always leave it till the last minute because i'm filming all week i'm editing other things like i have my short form I'm e i edit and stuff and i always leave my videos for like the last second to edit and then i'm working on the weekends which i hate doing and so i've been trying to really really get ahead with my editing and just get it all done a few days in advance so that i'm not scrambling last minute and i always underestimate the time it's going to take me to edit a video and then i'm like so overwhelmed and it's also because these videos are super long so it takes like double the time of like a normal 20 minute video you would see and i'm also really really picky about the music that i put in my vlogs i think one of the longest parts it takes me to when when i edit is finding the music i have a subscription to epidemic sound but it's like i need the perfect songs in my videos i am so specific with the music that i choose and i need it to be perfect and fit the whole vibe of the video because essentially i'm making a movie like i'm making a i'm telling a story i'm making a movie and the music needs to be perfect in order for my vision to come to life with the vlog i feel like the viewer sometimes doesn't notice these things but when you notice somebody's videos and you're like wow i really like them i feel like it's always a combination of like their editing with their personality and the music they choose you know what i mean i'm just very very picky with how my vlogs are edited how they look and that's why i don't know if i can ever get an editor because i'm just like have trust issues with that and i just need my hands on the video even though it's very very time consuming anyway so this little t on the background of editing and stuff but i probably spend more than the average person time looking for music because i'm so specific i also don't use the same songs over and over again because some youtubers do they just literally reuse and recycle their songs which is fine but personally i like to make every video super different and change up the font change up the music so it's not like you're watching a repetitive 
video every week even though it's like still me and the stuff I do is kind of repetitive I want to change up the vibe of the videos to make it a little more interesting because you never know what you're gonna get a lot more time goes into just that than you would think so it's not like oh I just slap random things together like this is all thought out you know but anyways I'm gonna go for my night routine now start it because it's already 4:29. wow it's 4 30 it just like does not feel like 4 30 to me like I've already said because daylight savings is just like messing with my head catch me in my night routine if you want to see the rest of my night this is the painting we put up in the bedroom i love it so much it matches the one downstairs it's the exact same frame exact same size and i think it's so cute it just adds like the best aesthetic to this room this wall was so plain before thank you so much to squarespace for sponsoring today's video so if you guys don't already know what squarespace is they're an all-in-one website platform for entrepreneurs to stand out and to succeed online whether you're just starting out or you're currently managing a growing brand squarespace makes it super super easy easy to create a beautiful aesthetic website engage with your audience and sell basically anything from products to content to time all in one place all on your terms you could start a completely personalized website with the new guided design system squarespace blueprint choose from professionally curated layout and styling options to build a unique online presence from the ground up tailor to your brand or your business and optimize for every device easily launch your website and get discovered fast with integrated optimized seo tools so you show up more often to more people and grow the way you want. Squarespace also has super flexible payments. You can make your checkout seamless for your customers with simple but powerful payment tools, accept credit cards, PayPal, and AppPay, and in eligible countries, offer customers the option to buy now and pay later with Afterpay and Clearpay. Whether you actually sell physical goods, content, services, Squarespace has all the tools and functions that you need to get started with your selling online journey. If you guys wanna check them out, go to squarespace.com for a free trial, and then when you're ready to launch go to squarespace.com slash Michaela Bento and you could save 10% off your first purchase of a website domain good morning you guys I'm just about to leave the house to the gym it's currently around 6 50 so not too early today not too late I just kind of wanted to get everything done before 10 o'clock because I also need to go grocery shopping after. For some reason, I just have not been into the gym lately. Like I have been having to force myself to go. Usually I go through phases with the gym. Like sometimes I won't mind it, I'll like it. And then other times I'm just like, I do not want to go. And that's how I feel today. I was talking to my friend Talia yesterday and we were saying how it's so much easier and funner to go to the gym when you have a gym buddy because they'll kind of hold you accountable. You guys can drive there together, they can pick you up. And then it's like, it's just a more fun activity. You could get like a smoothie afterwards or something. It's just more motivational. But I don't know why, what it is about going to the gym solo sometimes. It's just so unmotivating. There's one part of me that does like being in my own world in the gym where it's like I put my headphones on, put like on podcast music, whatever. And then you're just like on your own. I do like that. But at the same time, it's like sometimes it just gets super like boring and you want you almost sometimes need that extra kind of motivation, you know? And sometimes when I go to the gym, I leave and I don't feel like I gave it my all. And sometimes I'll just be like, eh, I want to leave now. And then you could just leave, like it's not a class. That's why I am a ride or die workout class girly. And apparently there's a Pilates studio coming somewhere near me soon, like a new one. So I am so excited to try Reformer Pilates because I've never tried that before and so i'm going to sign myself up once that arrives hopefully try out some reformer pilates and get more into that and then maybe i won't go to the gym anymore or maybe i'll go once a week to the gym we'll see but right now my split is twice a week at oxygen yoga and fitness which i love and then twice a week at the gym so i go work out around four times a week which is like perfect for me and they're all like really hardcore workouts so anyways that's the vibe i'm just really having to force myself to go to the gym here and that's why i wanted to wake up earlier and do it because i get lazier as the day goes on i almost have to just wake up and literally just push my butt out the door in order for me to follow through with it so that's the vibes today but sometimes it's like even though you don't want to do something you know it's going to benefit your future self and that's like a big goal that i have for myself this year is to do things in the moment that are going to benefit my future self because i always put things off and procrastinate Neater. and i just know that like forcing myself now to go to the gym is actually really healthy because i'm gonna be so happy i did it right after it's done and i'm gonna be like thank god i did that because now it just feels so good you know so anyways 
I've just not really been in my gym era. I've been not liking the gym as much and it's just always ebb and flow, but I want a gym buddy. Tally and I were like, I wish we could be gym buddies, but she lives like half an hour away from me, so it doesn't really make sense. Anyways, I'm gonna go leave the house and I will talk to you guys later when I'm grocery shopping. Young girl, I'm one of they working my nerves. I'm about to pull us a serve. Yeah. Fucking this bitch like a perm. Yeah. Smack on the back of a perm. Yeah. Ice, the bird. Uh, Shitting on all you little turds. Can't take that dick with your turn. In my own life, we can't merge. Yeah. So, with no hands, you can learn. Yeah. Let's see how much you can earn. Yeah. Why me go get like the worm? Yeah. And I ain't smoking no shirt. Yeah. I'm gonna be with you. I'm so happy. That I went. I just feel like with when it comes to working out, it's like through my videos, I feel like I always make it look so easy. I always make waking up early look so easy, but to be quite honest with you, it is not like waking up early for me is so hard, and I really, really, really have to push myself to do it and just like basically force myself. But that is like the per version of myself that I want to become. And when you have a version of yourself that you want to become, you can become that. Just because I know myself for not being a morning person and not being able to wake up early in the past doesn't mean that that dictates my future that's something that i'm taking on in 2024 if you want to become a certain type of way if you want to become the best version of yourself a certain type of version of yourself you could do it you just have to kind of change things if you want to become a morning person start setting your alarms a little bit earlier you know what i mean if you want to be somebody who works out start with one workout a week and then build from there and then eventually you're going to be that person that you wanted to become and people are going to end up knowing you for for that you know so you're the one who dictates that it's like i can live my whole life by saying oh i'm not a morning person i always sleep in. i'm lazy in the morning i don't have a routine but then i'm literally just make that into my reality like i'm the one manifesting that and i'm the one physically doing that so it's like if you want to change things you could change things and you can make yourself a morning person it might be a little bit hard at first but i mean it's still like to this day i've been waking up early for a while now and it's still pretty honestly hard for me to do it but it's worth the sacrifice because that's how i want to show up for myself at the end of the day and so you just kind of have to decide that for yourself like how you want to show up for yourself and it feels good to really push myself and challenge myself and see what i can do obviously with a healthy balance between like listening to my body and still working within my parameters but at the same time i love a good challenge i love a good structure i love routine because i would say naturally in my past i'm just not a very structured person but i really have become more of a structured person and more of a routine girl and I just love where I'm at right now so yes even though I did not want to go to the gym I'm gonna force myself to go to the gym because I know I'm gonna be really happy I did so anyways that's a little rundown about like if you want to change things in your life like, you can do it don't put any limiting beliefs on yourself because those are the only things that are gonna get in your way because at the end of the day you could do whatever you want and you could do whatever you set your mind to it's all in your head it's literally all in your head you create those boundaries for yourself and you break those could be break those boundaries for yourself so anyway is the weather has been so freaking sunny and it's so beautiful i think today is technically in the weather the last day of sun and then it's going to go back to rain which sucks but i'm going to enjoy today as much as i can maybe go on a walk later too because the sunrise was so beautiful this morning um, when i was driving to the gym oh my goodness but i'm officially 24 guys my birthday was over this weekend actually um my birthday was on march 17 i know this vlog is not gonna be out this week so i don't know when it's coming out but i'm 24 and it feels like i'm entering kind of a new era and i'm really excited about it and every single year i get older it's a little bit scary i'm not gonna lie but at the same time it's like you have to be so thankful for every single year you turn because not everybody gets to live as long as you do and so it's like i'm trying to look at it in that light rather than like oh my gosh i'm like literally in my mid-20s now which is crazy or almost in my mid-20s i don't know it's 24 mid-20s or early 20s still i feel like it's like borderline but i think it's i think it's mid um but it's like yeah i'm just trying to look at it rather than being scared of getting older i'm trying to look at it in a way of like okay this is actually a really good thing and i'm so grateful that i'm 24 like not everybody gets to see this age and where i'm at in my life like i'm super happy and there's all these like expectations that come with every certain number like oh by 23 you have to have a stable nine to five job and then make a lot of money and then by 20 28 or 25 or whatever you have to get married and start a family buy a house whatever but it's like you don't need to actually abide to any of that your journey is your journey your path is your path and if that looks different to another person your age that is 
okay and that is the whole point of having a unique journey because if all of us live the same life things would be so boring like what would be the point of that so anyways long story short i'm 24 and it's gonna be a slay year i also follow the year so i'm a 2000s baby i'm gonna go grocery shopping now because joel need oh shoot it's already nine i need to be out of here by nine because joel needs the car for work today so we actually have to skadoodle i literally talked for so long just now i already have my grocery list pre-written um just gotta get a few things not too much so i'm gonna go in quickly let's get shopping <laughs> my little breakfast i did an omelet two egg omelet with bacon onion and spinach and then put avocado over top this is the goat cheese and then some raspberries and then obviously i'm gonna probably put some sriracha over top but how yummy such a good after gym meal lots of protein and so i'm gonna munch this up right now omelets are so easy and quick to make i feel like i never make them anymore so underrated i'm definitely gonna be making more omelets <laughs> these two floral printed shirts how freaking cute the neckline is just so good and they fit so nicely like the cuffs are so nice and they're long they're not like cropped and they're just like perfect little baby tees to hang around the house in, put on whenever i'm just like need you know cute shirt moment but yeah i love myself just like really soft nice shirts like this so i like i said i've been a little bit bored of my wardrobe lately so i thought i would get a couple new shirts to wear when i don't know what to wear they're from the brand harlow i got them at boathouse so you guys can look online but this brand actually has such good things i've realized and then you guys i might have bought myself a new pair of shoes um look at how cute are you kidding me i just love the color of these the green i am so obsessed with and i just think that they could spice up an outfit and they were only a hundred bucks 99 dollars, which is pretty cheap for like a shoe like this and yeah i've never honestly like i haven't seen these online i just kind of walked past them in the window and i'm like oh wow those are cute and i tried them on and i really liked them so these are a sleigh and i feel like wearing these with jeans and just like a basic top would be really cute they're called the grand court alpha so i guess they're technically tennis shoes i don't know one thing about these is they are so comfortable they have like the memory it says like cloud memory foam at the bottom i could probably walk in these for like five hours straight and my feet wouldn't hurt they're so 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 comfortable and i feel like they're not really hyped up right now so get them while you can because these are so nice i personally really really like them and they're from famous footwear so that is a sleigh but yeah wanted to show you guys my little mall haul hey guys i just got ready because i'm about to go hang out with a friend we're gonna go thrifting i've been itching to thrift lately so we're gonna go thrifting and then we're gonna go we're gonna get a coffee and then we're gonna go thrifting and we're going to this valley village location that's apparently really good excuse the vacuum don't vacuum me right now but i'm just about to leave the house and yeah i just wanted to show you guys my little outfit this crew neck is thrifted and then i'm just wearing my sweats that i got from garage they're like wide leg with my adidas sambas such a cute outfit and yeah i just wanted to be super comfy because when i'm thrifting i like to you know be able to have my arms just like you know this is like a good thrifting outfit because it's comfy i'm not gonna get irritated and yeah so i'm gonna leave now i will take you guys shopping with us and i'll give you guys a haul when i'm back if i get anything but yeah i'm excited i just got to the cafe it is pouring rain today the weather has just been like up and down it's been like super nice and then all of a sudden just like pouring torrential downpour stormy skies but i guess that's spring right april showers brings may flowers but we're almost in may now so it's like okay where are the flowers and where is the sun it's so funny because we're so used to having rain in vancouver here it rains basically in the winter i'm not even joking every single day 
and it's so funny when I see people that live in LA and stuff in their vlogs rain is literally our everyday life here it's actually insane now that I think about it anyways yeah if you guys ever come to Vancouver come in the summer because that's when you're gonna get the nice weather but anyways I'm just waiting for Marilyn and then we're gonna go get a coffee <laughs> Except it's like kind of, we don't know. Okay, but I think I can do something with that. Like, you can't tell me I can't do something with it. It's just see, it's the part that's confusing, we don't, it's unknown, is like what to wear here. Yeah, like boobies. Under. Where do the boobies go? <laughs> they need to be not out. That's, yeah, that's the goal. The nipples can't be shown. That's a sleigh. This is in the top it's section, and I think it's like the perfect length because it's not it's not too long. Like it's the perfect mini. It literally is the perfect. It's mini. teeny tiny, but like yeah. <laughs> guys little thrift haul i ended up really refining the pieces because i just don't want to buy anything that i don't love and i'm not gonna wear so i got this vase how cute this is perfect for spring and i love this color combo the blue and the white so cute and i got this cheetah print dress you guys cheetah print is so in right now and i'm obsessed and it's basically just like a tight cute little dress where's the front here's the front but how cute for the summer this will be a sleigh and then i just got this as you guys saw already i think this bow little tank thing lingerie piece except i'm gonna use it for like a going out top don't know what the situation's gonna be for the undergarments but i just couldn't pass it up because i just think that this is so adorable i couldn't say no to her so i'm gonna have to figure out how i'm gonna style this let me know if you guys have any recommendations down below but I just love this piece so much. I could not pass it up. Yeah, I feel like this would just be so cute with a black mini skirt I've been wanting to get like little more little cute tops like this But I just I don't know I haven't been able to find them and I feel like thrifting is such a good way to accumulate unique little pieces So I definitely want to amp up my tank top game for the summer with just like really cute unique pieces like this the last little piece i got is this tank it's kind of like an athletic tank top but i like how it's not cropped and i don't know i really like the neckline and like the white around here and i feel like this would be just super cute with like a jean skirt or something i don't know i really see a vision here for the summer just like a casual tank with even like jean shorts i was expecting to come home with more but i really really like the pieces that i got so i'm happy 